Well, good morning, folks. Today's Sunday. Uh, it's not real early in the Sunday morning, but it's a little early. And we're actually going to uh, move some equipment before we have to go take Miss Kay out for lunch. Got the 700 running. Got her warmed up. And we're going to move this unit on the, the single axle dump truck. So that way we can get it up in this little holler where we're working at. Got Christy's, uh, Miss Kay's dogs down here. She's looking at me. She's wanting to come down here where I'm at. Miss Kay's got a black German Shepherd. Uh, she's, she's wild as a, she's wild. So we're gonna squat this little, this 700 up on the back of this little 20 ton trailer behind this single axle truck. And we don't do it real often, but we do do it from time to time. When we got a real short pull, um, there ain't nobody out on the road as far as DOTs, anything like that. So we ought to be all right for that. And again, we're just going down the road about two miles, then up in a little holler. So by the time we get her up to speed, it'll be time to turn the signal light on. So let's get at it. I think that's about where I usually haul it at. I don't haul it on here real often, but we usually have the sprocket right in the middle. And it don't put a whole lot of tongue weight, like it won't break the hitch off. These little hitches, uh, they won't take, they won't take that much abuse. It's got like a, a 50 ton hitch. It's got like a 50 ton hitch, but I don't know. I don't know what what it has. I think it's like a 50 ton. Well, you goober, that won't work. And I 
always grab a short one. I usually hook it to this step because that's what they actually want you to bind to is that step. That's 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 stout right there. The back we're pretty close. The back we can hook it into the we hook it into the track and they don't like you doing that but I don't I don't keep shackles and stuff on the back here. And again, we ain't going very far. We ain't doing 100 miles an hour. So, I'm not particularly scared a bit of it. I've done it a day or two or a time or two. Time or ten. Boy, I tell you what, I've been, I've been really, really missing this weather. This Kate told me before I left, don't you go out there and get dirty. Don't you go out there and get all dirty. We gotta go out to lunch. We want you to take another shower. That's the hardest thing about owning your own business. You know, you lot of a lot of Sundays, a lot of weekends, period, you know. You gotta move everything. You gotta do stuff. You gotta do stuff when there ain't nobody else out there to do it. I mean, it's just, it's just the way it is. This is, uh, this is by, by far my, my favorite dozer. Uh, now I like my old, I like my old 650 too. That was a good dozer. I think that was my second. My old 650 was my second dozer. I think this was my fourth or my fifth. I can't remember. All right, folks. Let's fold these ramps up and put her in the wind. Okay. Because this is a, a heavy load for this little jewel, <clears throat> we usually take off and get low or low gear. Uh, this thing was down a little bit on the fuel, but I'll just go ahead and fill it up tomorrow morning. This little truck, this is this is one of my favorite trucks. Too. This is a dandy, dandy little truck. It's a little 98, 98 Kenworth, little T3, T300 Kenworth. It's got an 83, it's got an 83 Cummins in it. Um, it's got a fuel plate in it. <clears throat> I think it was a, this was the second motor. This is the second motor in this truck. Um, the boys, the guys that I had working for me, uh, a long time ago, they blew it up. So I had to put this motor in here. This motor's got about, it came with like 275 horse, and I put uh, a fuel plate in it to turn it up a little bit. So uh, I'm not real sure about how much fuel or how much horsepower it's got now, but probably about 300 horse. I'm gonna guess about 300 horse. It ain't, it ain't got a whole bunch. Uh, it does, it does really good for its size and for what it's capable of. It's got a little exhaust brake. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Uh, you know, it's just, just a little, little, little dump truck. It's got, um, it's got really good interior. Uh, the truck was took care of pretty good. 
got about 360,000 on the frame. But, uh, but man, I tell you, it, it's a, it is it is by far one of my favorite little trucks. I've, I've got a lot of money invested in it, having to fix stuff that stupid people broke and everything. But I'm gonna have that with anything. Uh, it does it does pull pretty good. Like I'm only running like 35 miles an hour down around here. I know this people behind me is choking plum out, but I'm seriously just going about a mile and a half or so down the road. And I'm oversized. I don't have no blanket for me on this truck because we don't haul oversized with it. It's not big enough to be hauling oversized. But locally, I'm okay. I mean, shoot. If that's all they get me for, I'll be in good shape over the next few years, you know what I'm saying? Um, here, here's where for old Baron Z, Baron Z is a living man while he's waiting on his house to get built. That's who we're actually doing the job for, old Baron Z. I didn't tell him that I was going to put the dozer in over here. Uh, it was kind of a last minute, uh, last minute ditch effort, kind of really the way. I was thinking, man, if I can move one piece before I go to lunch, then when I come back, I can move the roller over there. Uh, you know, I, I can I can be in pretty good pretty good shape. Monday morning, I won't have to worry about too much. Yeah, the biggest thing with moving this thing is you just don't, you just can't get in a hurry. I mean, the brakes work absolutely phenomenal on my trailer. They pull good, uh, they hold good and stuff. I keep them adjusting good, but again, I ain't going 100 miles an hour or not going 100 miles, so that's, that's all that's a good shape. We got about another mile down the road here. Uh, then we got to go up a little holler. The reason why I was actually, I would move this thing probably anyway, regardless with this truck and trailer set up. But one of the main reasons why is because where I'm going is so tight and the road has made out by the creek, made out the road real bad. And I'm afraid to get my big truck and trailer up in there and turn over in the creek. So we're actually just going to use this truck to move everything in and out. And the next job that the dozer is going to is up the road about eight miles, see, about five, six miles or so from the shop. So I'll probably use this truck and truck set up again and we'll move it again. Uh, it's just so much easier to use this truck on these tight roads because I can usually, if I can get, if I can get my service truck in a place and trailer, I can get this thing and vice versa. Oh, she's heavy. But it really ain't that bad. I mean, my excavator weighs, they're right around the same between a 700 LGP, a 700K LGP and a 130G long stick uh, excavator. I mean, I got a forestry package and stuff on mine. So they weigh about the same. They weigh about the same. So this should be, uh, this really ain't that bad on it. The biggest thing is just looks big. It's got the oversized tracks and the wide 32 inch, I think 32 inch pads. My blade's like 130 inch or something like this. So it's 12 feet wide, 12 and a half, 12, 12 or 12 and a half feet wide. When I bought this dozer, I actually measured my 1650L that I had, the old case. If y'all watched me for a while, you remember when I had the old 1650 case. And it's supposed to be in the same class as a 750 deer. And I'm just here to tell you that thing is not in the same class. They may they may rank it in the same class, but it's not in the same class. Uh, and I measured that blade versus this blade, and this blade's the same, same it's a little bit bigger actually. It's a little bit bigger, it's like six inches wider or something, but it's basically the same closer blade. So, and this thing right here will push Sundays. I mean, it's crazy stout. I like the old case because of the motor. It had a had a six seven Cummins in it. It sounded really good, and it, I love you know my relaxation. I don't operate anything without the, the, without the door shut. But back in the day, you know, I wasn't so particular and stickler about that kind of thing. Uh, there was many a times that I would uh, open my doors up 